Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So this video is especially for those students who have given previous CSI net exam and they were not able to qualify or who have given multiple times this exam, the CSI net exam and they were not able to qualify this exam till now or if you have already qualified let's say for net or for category 3 that is only for PhD but you want to qualify for JRF which is for category 1 of CSI net exam then this video is for you. I'm going to talk about various things which you can do of your own. You All you need is just some points or so, some things to have in mind and then you will be like having a lot more clear idea about it, okay. So when we prepare, okay, because I have also prepared for this exam, I was also one of them who was not able to qualify this exam in one run or in one cycle. I also have given for exam for the second time. But during that uh, duration, there are many things which I learned with my failure in my first attempt. Now the thing is that when you are not able to qualify the exam, there are high chances that when you go to the next exam, when you go for the next cycle or for the next exam, what you do is you start your preparation from scratch, okay? And you again start doing the same thing. Let's say for the last time, if you have studied concepts, you have tried to understand the concepts, tried to solve some questions and with that you would try to qualify the exam. It didn't work for you. Again, you start from the same level, you start studying the concepts again, you start solving questions again, again you give the next exam and with the same type of effort, with the same effort in for other cycle, for the next exam, for next exam, you keep uh, having the same type of routine or the same type of effort, you cannot expect a different result in the next time, okay. Also with every exam, CSIR is changing its way of asking questions, so you have to take care of that also. Also, every time you will be having new competitions because new students are adding up in the exam cycle. So, you have to deal with all these things, okay. The best thing which you have, the best advantage which you have is that you have already given an exam and now you have a response sheet. You have a scorecard which you can analyze and what you can do is now, let's say our last time, uh, if the race is between 0 to 100, last time you were about to run from 0 to let's say 60. And you are not able to go further for the next 40 steps now start from 60 okay and run for the next 40 that way you will be preparing more efficiently and that is going to help you in the less time and uh, for the next exam you will see that your uh, your uh, your result has significantly improved so what are the things okay what are the things to be taken care of first thing is that you have to analyze your scorecard okay you have to see that which section of your scorecard is uh, lacking behind or in which score uh, in which section uh, let's say there is part a part b and part c in which part you are not able to score good marks okay if you are someone who was not able to do much questions in part a there is just one or two marks or five marks in part a then definitely you should work a little bit more upon part a because that is also scoring part you can score 30 marks from there right so you have to work on part a in that case let's say if you are someone whose part b marks are less you have very less marks in part b in that case you have to work upon more facts you have to now dig a little bit more you have to look upon your response sheet and see how many questions you attempted and how many marks you have got with that we will get to know that how many negative marking you are getting and then you have to analyze that in which section you are getting that negative marking i mean whether the more negative marking is in organic part or inorganic part or physical chemistry part okay if you will not do these analysis uh, trust me that it's it's really difficult to change your result significantly for the next cycle okay you have to analyze your own result your own scorecard and based upon that you have to you have to shape up your next preparation and because this is very subjective it depends upon each and every student differently like every one of you have their own scorecard your own strong zones your own weak zones so it is very difficult for me to make a general video or a generalized video for that uh, that's why uh, it is your responsibility now to analyze your scorecard and if you have any doubts or you have any uh, you know queries you can ask me in the uh, on my instagram and i will be able to respond to you over there in my dm okay the links are there in the description all the social media links are there so you can reach out to me on my instagram and i will try to answer you over there but uh, yeah this is just a general video where i can tell you that what are the things you can do okay so and again the same thing that you have to analyze that in which portion you are getting more negative mark let's say the organic chemistry portion gave you a lot of negative mark and inorganic and physical was the section where you were not able to get that negative marks 
so now you have to you have two options either you work on your organic chemistry you 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 stay dedicated over there work hard on organic chemistry and try to make it in a way that next time you don't do mistakes over there that's one uh, like that's one way the second way is you try to just figure out some topics from the organic chemistry so that you don't have to spend more time over organic chemistry and you you can use that time to focus more on inorganic and physical chemistry so that in the exam you are not able to lose marks from these two sections and some portions of organic chemistry which which are which could be your strong zones you can include them and then overall result will again improve so you have to make a balance of it you have to decide which way you have to go this is going to be super useful for part c for section c of your or uh, like the part 3 of your exam okay where you have um, four marker questions for two marker questions for part b the questions are more of a straightforward where you do not have to uh, you know make multiple step solution the questions are not that lengthy they are more based upon facts or they are more based upon the direct logics or direct questions so for that you have to focus upon certain topics now i have made some detailed video already for organic chemistry and for inorganic chemistry on this channel itself uh, i will give you a link of those videos in the i button you can watch those videos where i have discussed that how these topics or how you can cope up uh, with organic chemistry and inorganic chemistry with the changing exam pattern i'm working for the physical chemistry topic as well and i'll be making that video very soon that will be launching up very soon on this channel okay so stay tuned for that also but uh, for the other two have already launched so you can watch those videos for now now the thing is that once you have analyzed your result your scorecard now start working from there itself you don't have to start from scratch you don't have to start from zero you have already certain lead so now start from there and then that is going to help you for your exam okay so this is super important i have always emphasized just after the result i have always emphasized in each cycle you will see one or the other videos of mine where i have been talking about this thing to the students and this time also i thought to remind you about it that if you have already given the exam and you were not able to qualify or there was something which just made some marks you are just lagging behind with some marks what are the things that you can do for now okay i'll be making some specific videos also for examination strategy and re related to that how you can do uh, but yeah again one more thing important which i want to mention over here that we have launched a course for physical chemistry if you think that you you need a lot of effort for physical chemistry you need to understand physical chemistry from scratch solve a lot of questions from uh, physical chemistry and do some mock tests related to that so we have our gamma batch running on our app and our website also links are there in the description of this video you can join our batch over there and you can enroll yourself into the course and join our classes we have all the topics explained in details in the form of video lectures those are recorded classes so that you can access them anytime also you have a lot of access to a lot of mock tests over there which works as assignment so you can uh, solve those mock tests and we also have full length mock test which include all the topics of physical chemistry so that you can see that whether you are able to tackle multiple types of questions at the same time or not so that's it from my side for this video i just thought of reminding you about how to strategize how to analyze your report card how to analyze your scorecard and your uh, response sheet and using that how you can shape up your next preparation uh, although i try to make it little generalized so that it reaches to every one of you i'll try to make more specific if i will get more leads from you guys in the comments or in my dm i'll try to make a specific videos about which portion if a certain portion is weak what are the things which you need to be done which needs to be done for for coping up with that particular section all right that's it from my side for this particular video i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care